What's up everyone? Today I've got a build video for you guys. I've gotten up to rank 8 in Skull and Bones, which I believe is Corsair rank using this build. And I haven't really struggled, and I've actually had some success in PvP. So let's get straight into the ship. Here we have the Long Richard, which is a Padawakong. Um, you do not have to use this ship. You can use whatever ship you want. Even the smaller ships is fine if you have the rear and the auxiliary weapons. That's just bonus damage that we only use when the enemy manages to close the distance because we are trying to stay at range. We are a sniper build here. So if we go into the weapons, you're going to start off with culverns, but you're going to want to try and exchange those for some long gun ones as soon as possible. And then instead of going to long gun 2, I would recommend just trying to get the fire long gun 1 as soon as possible. And then just upgrade those from there to 2 and 3 as soon as you can. Before you get to 3, you'll probably get to the Skurlock Chasers, which you get by completing the Skurlock quest. If you look at the details here, you'll see that we have the Mast Breaker perk which sadly this does not apply for any cannon. It only applies when you're, when the Tornus sails effect is applied using this cannon. I was hoping just having it on the ship made the effect apply no matter what, but it is only when you use this cannon. So if you see that the Torn sails effect is about to be applied, make sure that you hit that last shot with these cannons because you'll get that extra 7,000 burst damage, which you'll see when it happens. It is a huge chunk of their health. And I have been able to take down some of the privateers as well. The piercing 3 damage gives us an extra 30% piercing damage and 100% damage to weak points. So we're getting crazy damage to weak points here because we also have 250 damage to weak points down here in the secondary weapon stats. The Tearing 2 also gives us 50 damage when hitting sails, so even better when we're trying to knock those sails. And then the Fire Long Guns, obviously they just apply Burning, and they increase our damage to weak points by 75%, so they also give us really good damage to weak points, so obviously it plays into the whole Sniper aspect, targeting weak points, targeting sails, those are basically the only things we're trying to hit. Once you manage to get all of these weapons, you're probably going to be looking for a bigger ship. Once you get something that has the rear cannons, I really recommend going with the demi cannon. At first, I was running the flooding demi cannon, which is really nice. But when I went to the Zamazama, I would have been extremely happy and I cannot wait to go get the Zamazama 2. I've unlocked the high enough level for it. I just need to get the blueprint and the items. This, whenever the ship gets close, whenever they are right up on you, turn your back into them and hit them one time with this and they will immediately be ablaze. If they take the full effect, if they take every pellet from this, they will immediately be hit with the ablaze. They will immediately be on fire. And then you can turn and just hit them even more with some more fire with the fire long guns. What plays into that really well is the auxiliary weapon. Our auxiliary weapon is the rockets so that we are also using this whenever the enemy gets close. We just hit them with this. It's a little bit harder to aim but once you get used to it, it it's amazing because if you hit every single one, this will also set them ablaze. So with the armor, you're pretty much going to take whatever you can get. Um, layered scales, personally, I think is probably your best option early on. I think you get an, a free iron husk early on, so you probably just equip that. But if you can, I'd probably go for layer scales up until you can get the Bastion 2. And then I would go with the Bastion 2 just because that gives you flame and piercing damage. So flame damage hurts. That's why I decided to use flame cannons on this build. Um, and that's why I've also decided to spec into flame defense as well. But you can really use whatever you want. Just upgrade it accordingly as you're leveling up. Try to keep it as high as possible. So the furniture is where the customization really comes into play. So the scoping station is like our main thing here. We're getting an extra 100 damage if we've marked an enemy. Um, and if you remember, we're already getting an extra 350 damage from just the Skurlock cannon. So we're getting 450 bonus damage to weak points if that stacks. I'm not 100% sure if it stacks, but if it does, we're getting 450 bonus damage to weak points. So for our small furniture, we're using the long gun grinder to increase the projectile speed by 15% of our long guns, which I think is pretty big. And then the front powder kegs increase the front weapon damage by 10%, which is nice because they have 
two shots as opposed to three on the sides for the, the larger ships or the medium sized ships. And then the volatile fuel, which increases the charge rate of the ablaze effect on enemy ships, which is nice because we are a fire build. And I'm going to show you real quick how to research the blueprints just for anyone who isn't sure whenever you're in St. Anne. Go talk to the blacksmith. This I'm at Telloc right now. It's a very similar layout though as St. Anne. So just find the blacksmith. Go to craft new item. Pick the item that you want to find. Go to track item down there at the bottom right. For us it's X. I'm not sure what it will be on PlayStation or or uh, PC. But track the, track the blueprint. And then on the right there it will show you where to purchase it at. Mine is Unguanum Warrior in the Poacher's Cache, so I'll check out the map, see if I can find it on the map real quick. Alright, so it's this little yellow icon right here, and then once you buy the blueprint, all of the materials that you need will also be little yellow icons like that on the map, and they will also be on the right there, where you can hit RT or whatever it is on PC and PlayStation to pull this uh menu up all right so we're gonna go ahead and attack this fort we're gonna take out these towers first and you can zoom in all you gotta do is click in the right stick on consoles we're just gonna sit take these towers out real quick all right, so we got both the towers down. Now we can try to showcase the, the build and how it takes down ships. All right, let's see. I'll try and knock the sails on this one so you can see. That burst damage. If this death mark nonsense would go away, I don't know what. this bug is with this nonsense popping out so as you saw there well you couldn't see it because of the death mark nonsense but you see their sails broken like that and now we got somebody showing up and it's going to be hard to tell who's doing what damage but i'm gonna try not to hit any weak points and just set them on fire so you can see the fire damage Alright, now watch how much damage it does just over time. And they're gone. Alright, so we're working on this one's sails now. And... Did you see how much damage that was? The death mark popped up again. That is insane. They really need to fix that. It's a problem for anyone who's trying to create any kind of videos or content on this game. It's a real problem. We're going to have to set this one on fire. Alright, so now we can show you how strong this is. Watch how fast this sets them on fire. I mean, look at it. It's almost full. We just got to hit them with one cannonball from the flame. And now they're on fire. And we don't even have to do anything. You can pretty much just sail away. Maybe. Oh, it is a it is an elite enemy. But it still finished it off. Alright, and we just got one more thing to showcase. And that'll be the uh, rockets. See if I can land them all. The rockets are pretty tough to shoot. And there they go shooting rockets at me. We'll brace that. And we will shoot rockets at them. And they're on fire. And we can set them even more on fire. Really hurt them now. They're melting. Look at that. Gone. Take the sails out on this ship. Reset, reset. Boom, look at all that damage. All 
Apparently we crossed the helm. And they're on fire. Take a couple shots at their sails. Grab their loot and we are done with this outpost. So that's pretty much the build guys. If you liked the video then please leave a like. If you didn't, go ahead and leave a dislike, and don't worry if you didn't like this build. If it doesn't seem like one you would want to use, I will be coming out with more build videos. I've already got a couple others in the work. Also, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, so subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more build videos and more Skull and Bones content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.